Week two was fine. A lot of improvement in aim lab, but Apex still went kind of slow. I had my moments though. If you're new to this, I'm playing aim lab every day until I'm really good at Apex. I realize there's more to Apex than just aim, but if you can hit your shots, it makes it that much easier to be good. I'm Jammin' J. I'm streaming most of this journey on Twitch, and I'm talking about it on Twitter, and I'd be happy to have you in my Discord. So join me while I learn how to aim in video games. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here's days 7 through 12 of my aim lab journey. Ah! Those far ones are the worst. There we go. We're doing all right. Okay. That was okay. Oh man, Sonic. I want Sonic now. My buddy up here is probably going to go down in a sec. Yep. Who's the better lifeline? It's Brittany. I want to make my my noob to cracked apex thing go well so I can stop door dashing. Jibby's down, Jibby's down. Lifeline's down. Where's the last one? Yeah! <laughs> Yes! Sudden death? Oh my goodness! Alright, this is the first night I've ran grid shot. How was that? I don't know. 49,000, accuracy 92, time to kill 376. Rampart's almost knocked. Rampart's knocked. I like this drill right here. I'm just calling an airstrike. Got him! This is strafe track. It's one of my least favorite tasks on aim lab. However, I think it is very helpful because being able to stay on a strafing target is important in a game like Apex where everyone just strafes like an absolute maniac. The objective here is to stay on these targets that will bounce back and forth. The further back ones, I almost always ADS them. Make sure your ADS sensitivity is the same as the game you're training for. In my case, it is Apex Legends. As you can see, I'm not great at this one. That's why it is in my rotation. Hello there. So I just made a couple little playlists. One is called Flick, one's called Tracking. Let's start with my tracking playlist. This is Micro Star Track. This ball will bounce between two different points continually in the shape of a star, and you are just supposed to keep the cursor on it. This one is somewhere between mind numbing and meditative, I'm not sure. This is Reactive Track. The ball will bounce around wherever it wants to. I'm not sure how it decides where to go, but it seems pretty random. This is Arc Track. On this one, the ball basically just traces big circles. This is strafe track. I made a video about this one. And the balls just strafe back and forth, and you just have to kill them. Alright, now we're going to run the flicking playlist. The first one on my flicking playlist is grid shot. I believe grid shot is one of the more popular aim lab tasks. 
at any given time there are three balls on the screen and as soon as you shoot one another one appears somewhere else now this one right here is six shot it is basically grid shot except there are six balls and as you can see they're tiny six shot is some bull i hate six shot <laughs> ah this one's motion shot where you hit the guy in the middle and then it, it throws a ball for you it's kind of like shooting clay pigeons i realize there are a lot of awesome playlists and tasks that you can do on aimlab there are six skills flicking tracking speed precision cognition perception at the moment i'm mostly working on flicking and tracking I mean, I'm still a very casual player, but I just want to be good at it, you know? Oh my goodness! What the heck? What is happening? What the... Shoot! Ah, oh, I missed that stupid... Dang it. Where'd that... Oh, freaking Valkyrie in there. Abilities. Brad, Brad, Brad. Yo! I'm okay with that. Let's go!